Good morning. Good morning. Common ground. Common ground. Good morning. Good morning. We're still around. We're still around. Mr. Josh. Miss Jeanette. Miss Liz. And Miss LJ. We're gonna do calendar and maybe learn about the moon and maybe learn our letters and sing a lot and play. And math also. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to see you. Did you have a great weekend? Oh, you did? I'm so glad. It was beautiful outside, wasn't it? Did you get a chance to go outside and play in your front yard or draw with sidewalk chalk? I hope you did because it's so healthy for us to spend time outside. Well, we've got a very fun circle for you today. First up, we have Miss LJ singing about the months of the year. Here's Miss LJ. Hi everybody, I'm Miss LJ, your turtles teacher. I'm here to talk to you about the months of the year. Now, how many months of the year are there? I don't remember. 12 months of the year, that's right, everybody. Now, I'm gonna teach you about a song that'll help you remember all of them. So we're gonna do a call and response. I'll say it, then you say it, okay, ready? One, two, three. January. January. February. February. March and April. March and April. May and June. May and June. July and August. July and August. September. September. October and November. October and November. December. December. Very good, you guys. We'll see you super soon. Thanks, Miss LJ. Now, next up, we have Miss Jeanette, and she's going to sing our Days of the Week song for us. All right, Miss Jeanette, can you help us out with the Days of the Week? Good morning, Common Ground. It's Miss Jeanette from Dancing Monkeys 1, and we're going to be doing our calendar. So, of course, let's welcome Mr. Finger. And here he is. Mr. Finger, are you ready? Now, let's move on to our Days of the Week. And how many days of the week do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's sing our song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Thank you so much, Miss Jeanette. Now, we weren't able to film the actual calendar this time, but I'm gonna tell you, today is our first weekday. And we know that that uh, Days of the Week song goes, Sunday, Monday, that's it. Today is Monday and it's a musical Monday. So we have lots of extra songs from Mr. Josh. So here's Mr. Josh with our first song on Musical Monday. Take it away, Mr. Josh. Hi everybody, Mr. Josh back here again for another round of the Common Ground Rocket the Blocks concert series. Today, we're doing a very special one. This is one of my absolute favorite Disney songs, You're Welcome, from Moana. I see what's happening here. You're face to face with greatness and it's strange. Don't even know how you feel. It's adorable. Well, it's nice to see that humans never change. Open your eyes, let's begin. Yes, it's really me, it's Maui. Reel it in. I know it's a lot, the hair, the bod. When you're staring at a demigod. Well, what can I say except you're welcome for the tides, the sun, the sky. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. I'm just an ordinary demigod. Hey, what a you were waddling yay high, this guy When the nights got cold, you stole me far from down below You're looking at him, yo! Also, I lasso the sun To stretch your days and bring you fun Also, I harnessed the breeze You're welcome to fill your sails and shake your trees What can I say except you're welcome To the islands of gold from the sea no need to pray, it's okay, you're welcome I guess it's just my way of being me You're welcome, you're welcome And thank you! Song, Mr. Josh. 
since it's Musical Monday, I thought I would get out my little ukulele. I love little ukuleles because they're so fun to play. Now, a ukulele has four strings. One, two, three, four. And when you strum it open like this, it sounds pretty because it's tuned to a pretty chord to begin with. A chord is a group of notes that come together that sound beautiful. I don't know a better way to describe it. So this, this chord is called C. This chord is called F. This chord is called A minor. And this chord is called G. All right, so that's a little bit about a ukulele. And you change the chords by pressing down in between these little bars. They're called frets. And you tune it by turning these little tuning pins. All right, up next we have another song from Mr. Josh. So here's Mr. Josh rocking from the blocks. Hi, everybody. This is Mr. Josh, back again for the next installment of the Common Ground Rocket Blocks concert series. Today, we're going to be doing a classic. This is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Everybody. See you next time. Mr. Josh is a pretty amazing guitar player, isn't he? But have you ever wondered about a guitar? So this is a guitar right here, and it's a lot bigger than my ukulele, isn't it? A guitar has six strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what's cool about a guitar is the strings are in no order from low to high. And this is tuned to an E. And just like on the ukulele, we can play a C. We can play an F. Oh, I'm not very good at that one. We can play, what else did I play? An A minor. And we can play a G. Pretty cool, huh? Even though it's a different instrument, they can play the same chords. But just like the ukulele, in order to change the chord, you push down on different strings, you push hard, and then strum. Pretty cool, right? Well, here's Mr. Josh with another song playing his guitar a lot better than I do. All right, I know you've been waiting. Here he is. Hi, kids. Mr. Josh back here again for another installment of the Common Ground Rock of the Blocks concert series. Today, we're doing another very fun Raffi song. This one is called Down by the Bay. You ready? Let's get started. Down by the bay, when watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go. Did you ever see a goose kissing a moose? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say. Did you ever see a bear combing his hair? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Ever see a whale with a polka dot tail? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mother would say. Did you ever see a fly wearing a tie? Down by the bay, down by the bay. Ever have a time when you couldn't make a rhyme? Down by the bay, 
Bye, everybody. Musical Monday sure is fun, but now it's time for a story. Miss LJ is up next reading us a favorite story of hers. Take it away, Miss LJ. Hi, everybody. It's Miss LJ. I'm here with Star Wars Return of the Jedi. When we last left our heroes, they were in big trouble. So let's hope that there's a happier ending for them this time, okay? So fingers crossed. Let's do this together. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, a great war rages between the evil Galactic Empire and the Rebel Alliance. The Rebel hero Han Solo has been captured by the bounty hunter Boba Fett, Frozen in carbonite, Han is a trophy in the palace of the worm-like gangster Jabba the Hutt. Luke Skywalker, the Jedi Knight, has a rescue plan. He sends R2-D2 and C-3PO to Jabba's lair on Tatooine as gifts. A mysterious bounty hunter arrives to collect the reward for capturing Han's Wookiee co-pilot Chewbacca. The bounty hunter is really Princess Leia. Under cover of night, she frees Han from his icy prison. Unfortunately, Jabba's Gamorrean guards quickly capture them. Soon after, Luke enters the palace and orders Jabba to release his friends. A trap door swings open. Jabba shakes with laughter as Luke falls into the dungeon. A mighty beast called a Rancor attacks. Luke crushes it with a giant gate. To punish Luke and his friends, Jabba will feed them to the Sarlacc, a sand monster. It will digest them for a thousand years. But just before Luke is about to be eaten, he springs into action. R2-D2 tosses the Jedi his lightsaber. Throwing off his disguise, the rebel Lando Calrissian joins the fight. The heroes quickly defeat Jabba and his henchmen. Kaboom! Han knocks Boba Fett into the Sarlacc pit. He's eaten all up. Luke and his friends escape Jabba's barge as it explodes. Across the galaxy, Luke's father, Darth Vader, is about to set an evil plot into motion. He is overseeing construction of a new Death Star, a battle station so powerful it will be able to destroy the rebels. A force shield generated on the nearby forest moon of Endor protects it. The Imperial Emperor tells Vader he wants Luke to join the Empire. Together, we can burn him and turn him to the dark side of the Force. Luke flies his X-Wing fighter to Dagobah to finish his Jedi training with Yoda. The wise old Jedi Master tells Luke he must confront Darth Vader. Just before Yoda fades away and becomes one with the Force, he whispers, There is another Skywalker. Suddenly, the ghost of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Luke's first Jedi Master, appears. He reveals that Princess Leia is really Luke's sister. Luke rejoins his friends on the Rebel convoy in space. The commander of the Rebel fleet, Admiral Akbar, has a plan to destroy the new Death Star. Lando will lead the space attack in the Millennium Falcon. Han, Luke, and Leia will lead a strike team to the moon of Endor to disable the Force Shield. Soon, Luke and his friends land on Endor to complete their mission. Scout troopers spot the rebels and race away on a speeder, um, on speeder bikes to warn the Empire. Luke and Leia hop onto a speeder bike and chase the scout troopers. The rebels zip through the trees and quickly catch up. Luke and Leia stop the Imperial scouts but they become separated during the chase. Lost, Leia meets a small furry creature called an Ewok. His name is Wicket. Luke rejoins Han and the rebel strike team. They are worried because Leia has not returned. But as the heroes set off to find the princess, they are trapped in a net. Whoosh! The rebels are captured by Ewoks. Luke and Han are happy to find Leia safe and sound at the Ewok's village. The creatures bow before C-3PO. They think he is a golden god. He tells the Ewok stories of the Rebel Alliance's heroic struggles against the Empire. The Ewoks release Luke and his friends and agree to help fight the Imperial forces on their world. At the controls of the Millennium Falcon, Lando and his co-pilot, Neen Nub, begin the rebel attack on the new Death Star. On Endor, Han's team and the Ewoks prepare to destroy the shield generator. 
The stormtroopers aren't prepared for enemies as small as the Ewoks. The Ewoks' simple traps made from logs and rocks overwhelm the Imperial walkers. Han, Leia, and Chewbacca storm the bunker and disable the shield. Lando can now destroy the Death Star. Luke surrenders to Darth Vader. He thinks there is still good in his father. But Vader, believe, but Vader delivers Luke to the Emperor on the Death Star. The Emperor wants Luke to unleash his rage and join the dark side of the Force. He makes the young Jedi Knight fight Darth Vader. Whoosh! Vader and Luke duel. Vroom, vroom! Luke wins the battle but refuses to finish off his father. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed, the Emperor hisses. He shocks Luke with evil force lightning from his fingers. Zap, zap. Darth Vader feels the good growing inside him. With the last of his strength, he rises up and heaves the Emperor into a deep reactor shaft. The Death Star is about to be destroyed. Luke wants to save his father. No, Vader whispers, you already have. The evil empire is defeated. There is a celebration from Tatooine all the way to Endor. The Ewoks sing and dance and Chewbacca roars. R2-D2 beeps with joy. Luke is happy the galaxy is safe and the force is at peace once again. I love Star Wars and I hope you loved that as much as I did. And I hope to see you next time when we read <gasps> The Force Awakens. Bye, guys.